I'm Sarah Bridge with King's News News and here are your top headlines today, August 2nd, 2024. A collision involving a motorcycle claimed two lives on Wednesday evening on Bath Road, according to a lease from Kingston Police. Upon investigation, it was determined a motor vehicle traveling westbound and a motorcycling traveling eastbound were involved in a collision. A 32-year-old operator and 22-year-old passenger of the motorcycle are deceased as a result of the incident. Anyone with information regarding this incident is asked to contact Detective Constable Soretti at 613-549-4660, extension 6404. Roy Douglas Snyder has been found not guilty of second-degree murder in the stabbing death of David Jagger Hodgson outside the Integrated Care Hub on January 10, 2022. Snyder took the stand last week in his own defense, and the charge against him was then reduced to second-degree murder. At 1 p.m. on Wednesday, July 31st, the jury began deliberations. At around 10, 11 p.m., the knock came, Justice New entered, and the jury was called back, where the four-person delivered a verdict of not guilty. Hodgson's daughter became distraught and left the court. The driver of a commercial truck that was towing a car carrier has been charged after striking a highway maintenance worker on Highway 401 yesterday morning. A highway maintenance worker had just completed setting up a detour route on the Highway 401 Gardner's Road ramp when a heavy-duty commercial truck pulling a car carrier failed to negotiate the detour and struck the maintenance worker. The worker was transported to hospital with minor injuries. The rash of collisions on Highway 401 in the stretch from Kingston to Napanee continued yesterday morning, with two separate collisions resulting in closures of the highway in both directions. The first collision occurred on Highway 401 westbound at approximately 4.30 a.m. around mile marker 599 near Odessa and involved one vehicle and a tractor trailer. Just after 10 a.m., another single vehicle collision involving a tractor trailer occurred, this time in the eastbound lanes of Highway 401 near the off-ramp to County Road 4, where a transport truck ended up in a ditch. Following a decade of locate services provided by external contractors, Loyalist Township is bringing locate services for underground infrastructure back in-house effective yesterday, August 1st. Ontario One Call is a free-to-user service. For information on how to request a locate, visit the Loyalist Township website. Since the civic holiday falls in the middle of summer, there will be no shortage of things to do in the Kingston area and beyond. So we've compiled a list of what's open, where to grab some groceries, as well as information regarding the City of Kingston services this long weekend. Visit kingstonist.com for more information. And while you're there, use my code SarahB2024 for 10% off.